So this morning, it's 75 degrees outside. When we started work, it was 74. Ricky's off for four days, so he's been sleeping nights and helping me during the day. Yesterday, we played Call of Duty like the entire day. It was so much fun. We just, we were both so terrible at the game. But anyway, uh, this morning, we used some greenhouse lumber and the doors and a piece of tin that I found and made shade. Now eventually I could possibly turn this into a coop um, by walling up the sides, but for now it's just a uh, shady place for them to hide during the day using what we have here. But uh, we left the door open. Oh, I haven't shown the lights. Thank you, Ricky. Um, Ricky bought these $24 solar lights and they charge all day and then at night uh, it's on right now, you can see 90 LEDs, it's motion censored, and uh, it stays on for a few seconds after you leave, but I installed that one last night, and it shines pretty good ways uh, off it there, but this morning I installed this one to get even further, so anything that moves over here at night will shine a light, which hopefully will either scare it away or whatever because I'm in bed at night, but it's pretty neat. Um, but we have one more that Ricky's going to use by the grill. Uh, but we also got a curved shower rod to give us more space in the tub to shower, and we use the old rod as a, a uh, perch for them in here, because they keep knocking my sticks down. But um, I put straw in these three different times every time they knock it out and poop all up in it. These are supposed to be for eggs, but instead they are a toilet. So that's awesome. But today I'm probably going to sprinkle some more DE, put some more straw. I know in the other coop they've already pooped it down and turned it into a solid brick of poop straw. One of them I saw, uh, this was, there was a hole here. They filled it back in, but one of them dug down and it's, it's a solid block of poop straw. So, I just keep putting more on top, and uh, eventually I'll, like I think this fall, I'll scoop it all out and start a compost pile. So, that's awesome. But they just poop on everything. They poop on each other. Um, I think it was probably two days ago I came out here, and it was nighttime, and I shined the light inside, and they were all inside. And there was like a billion chicks in this one, and zero chicks in this one, and some were down there, and one had poop directly between his uh, wings. But look, he's perching. Isn't that cute? You knocked it down, but you're still perching. <laughs> Who knew owning chickens would be so much fun? But I'm practically like turning this into a giant booby trap <laughs> to keep my chickens free range. But we haven't lost a single chicken since I installed these and uh, put the owl up there. Um, we knew it was hawks, so it couldn't have been anything else, so Ricky had ordered this before I made the video titled Something is Killing the Chickens. Um, but thanks to a subscriber, we now know what kind of hawk it was because of that feather that I found. But bunnies are out. Um, They've made these little rectangles of death where they pee all day. Um, you can see them where the cage is set. The yellow grass, they've killed it with their urine. So I try to move them around um, where the clover is or where dandelions are growing. And 
but they still have fat necks. It's only, they, the fat neck has gone away a little bit, but it's still there. But they are losing weight and becoming healthier rabbits. I've got um, Notch here and the babies in there. And there's a baby on top of the feeder. <laughs> oh my gosh. And another one trying to get up there. So I was wondering, one day I went in there and the feed smelled like spicy and was all wet. Now I know why. They get up there and pee in their own food. <laughs> oh, bunnies, silly bunnies. 